Hey everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. So today we are going to be doing the first deep clean at my sister's new house. The previous owners had a dog and from like first walkthrough, you couldn't really tell, but once I got in there and actually started cleaning, there was dog hair stuck to like every single door, like weird spots on the wall. It was really disgusting. We also have my sister's reaction video from the vanity and bathroom organization. So that will be at the end here. So make sure you stick around to watch that. And let's just jump right into the cleaning. I realized when I watched these cleaning videos back that I am so sporadic with my cleaning. I am surprised I don't forget to clean half of this stuff because I am always all over the place. So let me know if you guys are like that or if you have some kind of cleaning routine that you do when you clean like the kitchen or the rest of the house. So one thing that we have realized since she moved is she has this black couch. She is going to change it out, but um, when I got in there this day, I realized how much cat hair and like snack crumbs and just every single thing shows on this couch. So I gave it a really good vacuum and I also vacuumed all the chairs. Now usually I switch the end of the vacuum cleaner, but I have no idea where those pieces for this vacuum are. I think they are probably in the basement with some of the stuff we haven't unpacked yet. So if you're wondering why I'm vacuuming like this, that is your answer. Now, my sister, like I've mentioned, lives next door to me and the paint that was used in these houses is awful they show everything and in some spots like especially the bathrooms you can see like where water dripped down if there was a piece of furniture in front of it previously or a pitcher you seriously see every single mark that could be there so i spent a lot of time this day just scrubbing and scrubbing walls and doors and baseboards and what a huge difference it made If you have these kind of vents in your house and you need to clean them, I highly suggest using a toothbrush or some kind of brush scrubbing tool. They work amazing and you get them cleaned so quickly. I'm not sure how well this shows up, but you can see all of that dirt like fingerprints on this door. I have a few clips throughout the video where I try and do close-ups of the really gross parts on the walls and doors. So I'm hoping they show up okay in the video. On my laptop, they look all right, but let me know if you guys can see them or if they are just not working. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys was if you had some ideas for this little back entryway. So as you can see, the walkthrough pantries to the left, the garage door, and then where my camera is, is going into the hallway. So this is where the cat litter box is. And then we are thinking of doing some kind of like boot room, maybe bench area, um, but we need some ideas to work around the cat litter. So if you have any, comment down below. Now this here is in her pantry. Again, like I'm not sure why there's so much dog hair on the pantry walls. Like, I don't know. 
the dog spent a lot of time in this room or what, but um, honestly, I was not expecting them to be that bad in here and they were probably one of the worst areas in the house. Like I mentioned, this was my first time doing a clean in my sister's new house. So I have to kind of develop a rhythm of like where I start and like where I go off to. Usually I do all the vacuuming and washing the floors last, but this day um, I decided to kind of do the whole downstairs and then the whole upstairs as one. These stairs here are the ones going down to the unfinished basement. And again, the dog hair, like I can't believe they just left these stairs the way they were. There was so much hair and just like gunk on these stairs. Um, I didn't get an after shot. I really wish I would have. I didn't even realize till I was editing. Um, but I took the mop to them after I vacuumed them and they look so much better. So this is the flex room as my sister calls it. It's kind of the room at the top of the stairs. It like leads into the hallway. There's only a half wall. So she's had a few different ideas for this room, but for now I know she's having some guests come over. So I decided to take everything that didn't need to be in there out and just kind of set it up like a little reading nook for now. She's still undecided with what she actually wants to do here. So at least this way she can see the room um, a little more useful, I guess, and kind of decide from there what she wants in it. So I took the couple bins that still need to be put away and just put them into the closet into what is currently the toy room. It is going to eventually be I think a spare room slash toy room but we're still trying to work on the inspiration for it. So for now the closet upstairs is kind of um, makeshift storage for things that don't quite have a home yet. Now we are moving into my sister's bedroom and again none of this stuff has been cleaned so that mirror was brand new and of course there's fingerprints all over it from moving it and same with most of the furniture and again I don't know what they had in front of this wall the previous owners but it was so gross. <laughs> So um, I'm really hoping that you can't tell where I scrubbed all the walls, otherwise I might have to redo every single one, but at least most of the dog hair is gone. This next clip is actually in the bathroom. Again, hopefully this shows up okay and you guys can see the hair and just like the grossness stuck on these walls. Again, I've mentioned this before, the Method Foaming Tub and Tile Cleaner is my absolute favorite. This video is not sponsored, but if in the future, Method, I am here, I love you. So what I do with the foaming cleaner is I just spray it on, I leave it for a few minutes, and then I go back and wipe it all off. 
If you have glass showers, I would highly recommend trying this. I was using a mixture of Dawn and vinegar, which works pretty well, and I did not think I would find a product that was better than that for the water debris on glass, but the foaming tub and tile is honestly a lifesaver. So if you haven't tried it, go get some, it is worth it. Now, this bathroom in particular had so much dog hair stuck to this door, I couldn't get it off, so I had to take a dry cloth and try and kind of dust it off. So I'm gonna have to go back in and redo that one next time. Like I had mentioned in my previous video working at my sister's, I was going to add in her reaction to the organization of her bathrooms and vanity. So that is coming up here. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, you hit subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below if you thought it was inspiring and if you have any ideas for the back entryway for us. Bye guys. I'm so excited. Come on. Okay. My goodness. Look at my room. Look at my room. It's so big. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. I love this, by the way. That was some crafty work to get it to oh, stay it up there. Good in here. Oh, I don't know why. I think my alarm first went late. Oh. Look it! Your mommy organized everything for me! Oh, this plant, yes! Yes! Okay, is this it? Yeah. Oh, look at it! My stuff! <laughs> oh, my hand towels! Oh, my extra! Okay. Mommy did all of this for me. I did put some makeup on. Okay, now go. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look it. Oh, oh no. No. Yeah. Lazy Susan. Yes. I was so sad that it wasn't going to work in my pet. Whoops. Okay, maybe not so fast. <laughs> this is so amazing. What are you doing? Come inside. Come here. Come here. <laughs> this is going to be my stand. This is going to be Oh, you are. Oh wow! Oh, did you Are help you decorate it? A master organizer like your mommy? I can use this first. <laughs> Is it easy first or no? Amazing! Yucky! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. I say. Help me one open them. Oh, no! Whoa! This is beautiful! And it gave me that. Whoa! And she needs to clean that up. And you come to go here. Hello! Whoa! Yeah, if you need it here. Oh, that's messy in there. You can tell that Auntie did that chore. Yeah. Thank you, sister. Is it okay? Like I love it. Like I, I, like I said before, my brain just doesn't go where yours does, and this is—you truly.